Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick video on a two sample uh, test for means uh, and how we can do it in our commander if we have a data set. Okay, so here's what we can do. So the very first thing that, that we need to do is we need to look at our scenario. So it says, does Steve spend more time on average in Target as compared to Walmart? Over the year, Steve recorded all of his minutes. Uh, each time he spent time in each of the stores, he wants to test at the 95% confidence level. Okay, so right here we know which direction we want to see if target is greater than Walmart and we want to test at the 95% confidence level so we've got our alpha and so we can set up a few things real quick. So we can do the null hypothesis is target or we'll do new target minus new Walmart Walmart equals zero. That's the null hypothesis that they are the same. And the alternative hypothesis is that this is going to be greater than zero or that target is larger than Walmart. We have an alpha which equals 0 0.05. And now we need to check to make sure that we actually have enough data to do this. So let's go ahead and load up our data. So I've just got this from Excel. We've got the two companies and then how many minutes in the store. This guy spends, maybe does some huge shopping trips. I don't know, but let's go ahead and copy this in. So we're just gonna copy it and let's go data import. Let's do it from the, uh, the template and, or from the clipboard, sorry, from the clipboard, tabs, and then click okay. And I already had a data set in there, so I put it in and I click view the data set. And here it is, if we can scroll through and look at it. And remember to be able to, I don't know what the original distributions of our, each of these are. And so I really am going to need to check to see, do I have enough, um, enough data points to be able to invoke the central limit theorem. So let's go check that real quick. We're gonna to go to statistics. We are gonna to go to summaries and numerical summaries. And I'm gonna summarize by group and by company. And then I'm gonna to go to statistics. I want the mean, I want the standard deviation. Uh, I really don't need the quantiles. I'm gonna click off that right now. I'm gonna click on the standard error. It can be useful and I'm going to click okay. All right, and so I have uh, this summary statistics. I've got Target here, I've got Walmart here, and I've got the standard deviations. And for right now, I wanted to check the sample size. As long as both of these are over 30, uh, we are good to go or else I'd have to know that both of them are normally distributed. Since I don't have any um, indication in the problem that it would be like at least a good assumption that they're normally distributed, I really can't do anything. So here I am good to go because my sample sizes are both over 30. So I said um, something like this, sample size large enough to support central limit theorem. And then I can say target greater than 30 and Walmart greater than 30. Okay, perfect. So now uh, the next thing that we need to do, if we remember, let me open up Prezi real quick. Give me just a second as it loads up. Okay, so remember, when we do two sample, Testings of mean, uh, we have this question, is it normal? We already answered that. We have to answer this next question. Are the samples independent or is this matched pairs? Now remember, if it's matched pairs, they have to have the same sample size. So because these two groups have different sample size, immediately we know that it's not matched pairs. Okay, great. Um, the other thing is, remember, there has to be a one-to-one -one connection between these two and there's nothing, maybe if we went to each one on the same day, we could make the day the connecting factor, but we don't have that information here. So we know that this is going to be independent. Okay, now does each group have the same standard deviation? Okay, so does it not say so, or does it say, so we, it doesn't say in our problem, but let's check the standard deviations, because as long as they're within two times of each other, we're good. Okay, so we look at the smaller standard deviation, it's 15-ish, and then the larger standard deviation is 20. And this 20 is less than two times the smaller one, which would get you to 30. So we can actually consider these to have equal uh, variance. And that's gonna be helpful because it changes which, well, let me just show you. It changes which test that we do. So over here, we have the two, two sample t-test where they have, um, where we don't 
pool the standard deviations, then over here we get to pool the standard deviations or the variances. Now, thankfully, we don't have to go through and do all of this crazy calculation because our commander can do it for us. So let's jump back in. So now that we know what we're doing, let's go to statistics. We can do means and we can do an independent samples t-test. Great. Okay, so the groups are the company and the response is the time in the store. We can go to our options. All right, so first of all, it says Target minus Walmart. That's what we want. Now remember, if we wanted to do the other direction, we could go in and change the factor levels in editing our data. We've done that before. Keep that in mind because sometimes how it, remember, our commander wants to put those groups in basically alphabetical order, and that's sometimes not what we want. So we got lucky on this one, so we don't need to change that there. Confidence level is 95. Assume equal variances, we can say yes, once again, because these two standard deviations between Walmart and Target are within two times of each other, which is great. So now we just need to figure out what the alternative hypothesis is, and here we see that the difference is greater than zero. So we can click right here, and then go ahead and click OK. And now we can go down and we can see, okay, what, uh, is there a big difference? Is there a little difference? Uh, do we have a significant difference? Okay, and we want to see, here's our T-score that we're interested in. Here are the degrees of freedom. Here is our P-value. Okay, that's all good. And then we can go down and we can look at our confidence interval and we have the sample means. Okay, so next thing that we want to check is we want to see our P-value which is equal to 0 0.02326 and then we can say that the p-value is less than alpha so we have significant results therefore we reject the null and then if we're looking for a confidence interval, uh, we can say, I'm just going to copy these guys, for this is our 95% confidence interval. And in between there, we can do that. Okay, so that this difference that the, that the difference in the means is somewhere between, or some is at least this big or is bigger than than one point what like two eight two nine nine minutes all right so now we got to write out our, our concluding statement so we can say that we collected or maybe not we we'll do steve steve collected sufficient evidence at the alpha level of 0 0.05 to reject the, um, the claim that he spends the same amount of time in Target and Walmart that he spends the same, we'll say We'll backtrack a little bit. Let's make this a little better. To reject the claim that the true, there we go, true mean time spent in target is the same as that for Walmart. And instead, that the true mean amount of time spent in target is greater than that of Walmart. Okay, so remember, we want to talk about, like, I, I went back and I deleted that little part out because I really wanted to get into this idea of the true mean because that's what mu is. That we're going to reject the claim that, that his true mean time spent in Target is the same as that for Walmart and said claim that the true mean amount of time spent in Target is greater than that um, for his, uh, we'll say like for Stevens. Stevens. 
shopping habits. Because remember, we want to talk about it um, with respect to, uh, to Stephen. Okay, so now that we've written this conclusion, we also need to include in a confidence interval statement because we say that he spends more time in Target, but by how much? All right, so we can say that we, our Steve, is 95% confident that the true mean amount of time that he spends in Target is at least 1.299 minutes longer than he spends in Walmart. Okay, so there we go. Top to bottom, uh, we did a two sample, uh, a two sample test t test. And this is an independent t test of the means. Now, there's a couple things we can go in and talk about. We can talk about how if the standard deviations were further apart, like if the target one was like at 50 or something, this one's at 15, we couldn't assume equal variance. Um, but I mean, all you have to do is just change that toggle button. If we go look at this independent samples t-test, uh, it's just this guy. Remember, if it was not equal to, if you just wanted to see if it was different, we could do a two-sided test. And then our confidence interval would have both an upper and a lower value. Here, since we're doing this confidence bound, it just has this, um, this lower guy. And I think that's about it. Hopefully that helps clear things up for people. If you've got more questions, please send them my way. Good luck, you guys.